the process of making looping animations in Blender is not the most intuitive. And there is only one way to do it, by adding a cycles modifier to the graph. However, the solution is not really efficient, and it doesn't work really well, because it can screw up the animation and doesn't really make it loop. So Blender artists have been looking for a solution to this problem, but we haven't gotten anything so far. However, I recently discovered this newly created Blender add-on that might be the way to go when making looping animations inside Blender. The add-on is called Loopify, and it is available to download on Gumroad for free so far. So this add-on's interface is divided into six different categories, where each category is responsible for a specific task. The first one is instancing operations, and in this category, you can create copies of animated objects or collections to evenly distribute their animation F curves across the timeline and to make a seamless loop out of their animation. This category has seven different operations, and you are able to instantiate objects and collections, in addition to offsetting the selected animated objects, bones, keyframes or F curves on the X axis or the Y axis respectively. You can also offset the selected objects or bones transforms based on their index with the shift location rotation scale operator. Other operators you can find are the fixed looping, instance, and shift curve mapping. The second category is called copy slash paste slash tweak. And as its name suggests, it allows you to copy and paste keyframes and offsets, and you can also set the exact value to the selected keyframes. The next category allows you to set the values and positions of the last pair of keyframes on selected F curves relative to the first pair of keyframes to make a seamless loop of the animation. And you can also set the values of the last keyframe the same as the first keyframes on the selected F curves. The fourth category is called the repeater category. And here you can do two operations. You can loop the animation on selected curves using a repeat or ping pong method and you can also fix the repeater or ping pong looping. Another category you will find in this add-on is the noise modifier category. This one enables you to loop noise, remove noise loops, and randomize noise seeds on the selected F curves, or you can also remove the modifiers from selected F curves. The last category is the rotation category, and this one lets you loop the rotation of selected curves. So if you are interested in this add-on, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, please subscribe to this channel to stay updated with the latest news of 3D software and the CG industry in general. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.